Hi guys, I'm in Tel Aviv in Israel right now and this is a real astonishing place when it comes to startups. In 2018, venture capitalists invested more money in this little country than in Austria, Switzerland and Germany combined. And I'm here to find out what's the secret sauce of the startup nation. Because of our survival um, DNA, we needed to survive many years and we still need to survive, so we have to come with creative um, solutions. The Israeli ecosystem today has, um, has proven to be able to pay back the investments on average. It's a magnitude of, uh, of order greater, like everything seems to be 10 times bigger, 10 times more money. There are already been 12 or more uh, unicorns. make technology grow and make this world a better place. This is like the high level uh, goal. Uh, the way to do it is to, um, to um, invest in companies that are disruptive, that are um, changing our lives in, in many ways. And we have the ability for deep tech. So for example, the Germans that I've been speaking to, they said in terms of AI, we, they are behind us, seven years behind us. Uh, and they have the lighter tech mm -hmm. than here. Um, just to, to understand, Israel has been in the AI space like 17 years ago when mm -hmm. Mobileye was funded. Mm -hmm. uh, Mobileye is an AI company and so we understand uh, technology and uh, the ideas uh, maybe ahead of the curve. Uh, first destination is, is the US. Um, and we, we're more familiar and I know that you come from Europe, but so no offense, but uh, uh, but, but Americans work faster than Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, Europe still works really slow in terms of like decision making, and they still want to be very. There's still like a closed community, like a closed boys club, mm -hmm. uh, which is really hard to penetrate. Mm -hmm. uh, we do see some. Uh, Israeli companies uh, starting in the UK and starting in Germany, so it happens, but it's not to the same extent as uh, as the US. I still see Chinese uh, coming here wanting to take the technology from here and implement it in China. Um, not necessarily invest in VCs or invest in... So they do invest directly into companies, but with the idea of taking those companies and... and uh, making them exclusive in, in Asia. I think that the core strength of Israelis is software. So if you would examine objectively the market, you would see that we have 350 of the most, of the biggest enterprises and corporates in the world, you name it, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, um, IBM, they're all here. They all open R&D centers here, mm -hmm. Facebook. The reason, is, uh, is, is the software. They really want R&D centers here. Mm -hmm. So I think that everything that is revolving software is, is the core strength of Israel. It's not easy, but to, when you get it, then it's, it's, ex it's exciting. What we believe is if you have like a good idea, you can spread it and in the end you can find the good investors. It's very easy to get to all the meetings, to set up meetings, to pitch your concept. At the end of the day, the venture capital firms and the investors in Israel are like everywhere in the world. They ask the same questions. The Israeli personality and the things that we are such a small country, such a small group that helps each other a lot. That's what makes Israeli startup ecosystem so successful. Um, to be honest, there's no secret sauce. There is a development of slow cooking over more than 20 years that aggregates uh, culture with some luck and uh, a lot of hard work done, which combines skills, capabilities coming from the academia, 
uh, insights from the government to support the ecosystem at the critical points over time, the year 2000, 1992, etc. A lot of it came from necessity, um, being an isolated place that has to, for example, work born global from day one. So we actually have to build ventures to sell to the world because we don't have actually a local market. So this, this is just one example of how you are enforced to learn uh, to build ventures which are global. The, the IDF is the Israeli Defense, for, Defense Force. It's a compulsory service that every Israeli has to go through at the age of 18. During your service, you develop a culture, you develop your self capabilities, uh, and there's a lot of um, value as an individual during those few years of service. So you mature very fast and you get responsibility at a very young age. So the startup ecosystem system actually benefits from the character and technology spillover. And then come the investors and harvest on those <laughs> capabilities and characters uh, in Israel. The Israeli ecosystem today has proven to be able to pay back the investments on average. So, and investors, this is what they want. They want to get money. This money comes from many places. It comes from the US, from Europe, from multinational corporates, from the Far East, um, China, India. Almost every significant multinational corporate has an investment representative in Tel Aviv or in Israel in general. The reason for that is not that we're so beautiful or the, the weather, even though we have quite a good weather, the main reason for that is they want to make money uh, on their investments. They want to tap on the technology that, that is being created here. Mm -hmm. When you try stuff, it's okay not to be successful on the first time. As a matter of fact, in the Israeli culture, if you go to a VC and I, you said, I started this and this and this and this venture, it will not be held against you, it will be held in favor. Because you have experience, you, tried, you know what doesn't work. If you fail once or perceive your behavior as failure once and you do not come up on your feet again and try again, why should I give you your money? Because the first problem you'll have, you will not stand up and try to improve things and raise the startup out of the ashes. And this is what you want as an investor. As an investor, you want to keep your money in the, arms, in the hands of people who can stand up again and again and eventually lead the venture to success. It's not about opening another pizza shop or another cleaner's shop or another restaurant. Mm -hmm. There you can maybe score on the first time, maybe. It's my first time here in Israel uh, and I'm impressed of this uh, very cool startup scene. There's really a lot of things going on, uh, really cool things going on. Generally, we can say it's a magnitude of, uh, of order greater, like everything seems to be 10 times bigger, 10 times more money. There are already been 12 or more uh, unicorns. There are 50 VC funds compared to maybe five in, in, in Austria. There are a lot of things that Austria can learn from Israel. Uh, a lot of things we can, uh, we can copy or try the same. For example, this, uh, this uh, governmental fundings we can uh, uh, foster and, and, and uh, increase and, and a lot of other things, but we cannot uh, copy that that easy is this cool military training, for example. Uh, so I have already investment here in DNA ticks, which uh, is combining uh, the DNA tests and the uh, blockchain. And uh, yeah, maybe they're coming more as there are really cool startups here around.